DHCP will be configured on router 1 to distribute addresses for VLAN 1, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. On router 2 we're going to configure IP helper address for VLAN 2, VLAN 30 and VLAN 40 in order to reach DHCP on router 1. Let's start with configuration. Switch 1, show IP interface brief. Ethernet 0 slash 0 will be configured as a trunk port. 0 slash 1 in default VLAN, 0 slash 2 VLAN 10 and 0 slash 3 VLAN 20. Configure terminal. First we need to create VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 on switch 1. Next is to configure interface 0 slash 0 as a trunk port with command switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q and switch port mode trunk interface 0 slash 1 it's already in default VLAN so we need to configure interface iterate 0 slash 2 and to assign to VLAN 10 with command switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN 10 interface iterate 0 slash 3 switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN 20 we can verify this with command show VLAN brief so we can see that we have VLAN 10 and interface 0 slash 2 VLAN 20 interface 0 slash 3 and default VLAN interface 0 slash 1 router 1 show IP interface brief we can see available interfaces on 0 slash 0 we're going to configure interface for the default VLAN, sub interfaces for VLAN 10 and 20 and the 0 slash 1 it's connected to router 2. So configure terminal interface gigabit 0 slash 0 with command IP address 192.168.1 range and subnet mask 255.255.255.0 no shut down command now we're going to create a twist configure sub interfaces for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 so tag 10 for enca encapsulation and IP address will be 192.168.10 range for VLAN 10 subnet mask 24 and no shutdown second sub interface for VLAN 20 encapsulation.1q tag 20 IP address 192.168.20 range subnet mask 255.255.255.0 no shutdown command next is interface uh, gigabit 0 slash 1 which is faced to router 2 IP address will be 10.10.0.1 uh, slash 24 mask and no shut down to turn on this interface. 
now we are creating DHCP pools or VLAN 1 which is default VLAN network 192.168.1 range subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and default router will be 192.168.1.1 which is actually interface gigabit 0 slash 0 on router 1 DHCP pool VLAN 10 network 192.168.10 range subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and default gateway 192.168.10.1 which is actually sub interface on gigabit 0 slash 0 0.10 DHCP pool VLAN 20 network 192.168.20 range subnet mask 255.255.255.0 default router sub interface 0 slash 0 dot 20 on router 1 now we're going to try from PC1 to do DHCP request and we should get assigned address from VLAN VLAN 1 pool which is correct from PC2 DHCP request and should be assigned IP address from VLAN 10 pool which is also correct PC3 DHCP request should be assigned IP address from VLAN 20 pool which is also correct on switch 2 show IP interface brief 0 slash 0 interface will be trunk port 0 slash 1 in default VLAN 0 slash 2 VLAN 30 and 0, 0 slash 3 VLAN 40 First we need to create VLANs, so VLAN 30 and VLAN 40 on switch 1. Interface 0 slash 0, switch port trunk and encapsulation dot 1Q and switch port mode trunk. Now this port is configured as a trunk port. Next will be to configure interface 0 slash 2 to be access port and to assign to VLAN 30 switch port mode access switch port access VLAN 30 interface 0 slash 3 switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN 40 to assign this port in VLAN 40 on router 2 show IP interface brief gigabit 0 slash 0 interface will be configured for the default VLAN and two sub interfaces and 0 slash 1 is face to router 1 so it needs to be configured with IP address so interface gigabit 0 slash 0 for default VLAN IP address 192.168.2 range sub net mask 255.255.255.0 no shutdown to turn on this interface 
interface sub interface now we are going to create sub interface uh, interface gigabit 0 slash 0 dot 30 for vlan 30 encapsulation dot 1q tag 30 and assigning ip address 192.168.30 range with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 no shutdown and also we need to configure sub interface for VLAN 40 with same command encapsulation dot 1q tag 40 assigning IP address 192.168.40 range 255.255.255.1 no shutdown gigabit uh, 0 slash 1 interface it's phase to router 1 we're going to assign IP address 10.10.0.2 and subnet mask 255.255.255.0 no shutdown command to turn on this interface on router 1 we need to create DHCP pools for VLAN 2 which is default VLAN network command 192.168.2 range and subnet mask 24 default router will be gigabit 0 slash 0 interface on router 2 DHCP pool with name VLAN 30 for VLAN 30 network 192.168.30 range subnet mask 255.255.255.0 default router will be sub interface on router 2 192.168.30.1 IP DHCP pool VLAN 40 network address 192.168.40 range subnet mask 24 and default router will be sub interface 192.164.40.1 on router 2 on router 2 next step will be to create IP helper address on interface gigabit 0 slash 0 and sub interfaces and to point where is the DHCP router 1 for devices in VLAN 2, VLAN 30 and 40 to be able to find DHCP so interface gigabit 0 slash 0 IP helper address 10.10.01 on sub interface also we are creating IP helper address with 10.10.01 IP and on sub interface interface gigabit 0 slash 0 dot 40 also we are assigning IP helper address dot 10 dot 10 dot 0 dot 1 also we need uh, to create a GRP protocol uh, for the routers router 2 and router 1 with command router hrp10 uh, and to enable with command network 0, .0, .0, .0, .0 all, all on all interfaces so on router 1 also router hrp10 network 0, .0, .0, 0 0.0.0.0 to enable hrp on all interfaces no auto summary and on router 2 also no auto summary now we can try on PC4 which is a default VLAN to try to do DHCP request and we should get assigned IP address from pool VLAN 2 
which is also correct. Great. 192.168.2.2. PC5 should get address from pool VLAN 30. One ninety two one sixty eight thirty dot two correct and PC six should get IP from pool VLAN forty. Which is also correct. One ninety two one sixty eight forty dot two. I hope that you find this video useful and informative for you and that uh, you know how to configure DHCP on Cisco devices. Thank you for watching.